over here. Uh, this is Jeremy Howe going to play? Well, he's yeah, he's he's ticked off uh, he's ticked off training then, so we'll see how he pulls up. Um, but he's uh, he's raring to go. He's been keen for a, a number of weeks now to get out there, so we we'd be we'd be wrapped to get him back. So um, so far so good. He, he trained today really well, and uh, we're looking forward to obviously getting a guy of his caliber back. He's um, really important to our group. How many of main? Thomas and Hoskin Elliott will be see after they missed the one last week. Yeah, well, in the end, they, they all those boys got through, so um, they, they're, they're putting their hands up for selection, which is great news um, to have. Obviously, our depth's been tested at times this year, and we've been lucky enough to, to blood a lot of kids through the system, which is um, really good for the club. Um, but, yeah, the, those boys get, get the chance, uh, hopefully, today. You know, again, they've, they've got through. So Thomas, obviously, with his concussion, got through fine, and... He should be okay. Um, just waiting on Hoskin Elliott and Maine just to pull up okay after training and see how that how that fits with selection. Hey Rob, with uh, obviously Pendles out means uh, you've got to uh, have someone step into that captaincy role. Obviously Taylor Adams is probably the one that jumps out. Just confirming that. He will be the one to uh, to take the seat next to his name. Is that right? Well, we, we've got we've got three vice captains, so we think we'll share that role amongst the, those those three vice captains. So, side bottom Adams and Howe are our, our three vice captains, so we'll, we'll share those duties. Uh, but still, side bottom will be 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 our captain this week. Okay, fair enough. In terms of um, the captaincy uh, as a whole, I mean, how would you see? Potentially moving forward, do you think someone is, is ready? Potentially someone like a Taylor Adams will be ready to take on that role as of next year moving forward and, and Pendle's to, to maybe take some less responsibility. Obviously, he's been in the role for so long. Oh, well, they're, they're, they're um, bigger decisions to be made down the track. Obviously, Pendlebury's been as good a captain as I've seen. Um, so that, that's a great starting point. Very lucky to have a guy like that to be able to even mentor these guys. Uh, Adams is ready to go, I think. Um, so is Cy Bottom, who's been obviously here for a long time. And, and Jeremy Howe, is, he's, a, he's a real spiritual guy of, of this group. So he's, he's also um, throw, put, puts his hand up straight away. So if, if that's the way it went, those three boys are all equally ready to go. And in terms of um, uh, personally for yourself, have you... Uh, been notified if you're, or have you um, submitted something for the uh, the senior role, and, and are you part of that process? Well, I, I'm just in. I just doing my job as as was instructed that I do to for the nine games that I was appointed coach. Uh, so I'm, I have ongoing I have ongoing um, conversations with Graham Wright around um, that situation. So at the moment, I'm just doing my job, uh, and in the end. Um, as as the as we get closer to the end of the year, those conversations will take place and um, see what happens. And I'm just doing it to the best of my ability right now, and really enjoying it. Um, and and just uh, obviously like to get a few more wins on the board and um, get out get us playing absolutely good footy for the last four games. So so as far as you're concerned, I mean you're still in the race for potentially a senior role if you wanted. It. I just haven't even gone there, to be honest. Um, I, I'm just, as I said, I've, I've been really happy with the communication around all this so far. Uh, so yeah, I, I understand. There's, um, you know, there's there's a bit of urgency around it, but I'm, from my point of view, uh, the information that I get will will come at the right time for me, and um, we'll have those conversations at the right time. What's the thinking uh, around Jeremy? I mean. Others might want to put him into cotton wool and say, let's just, you know, get you through the end of the season and then, um, uh, you know, attack the pre-season hard. But clearly, you and, and he want to play um, as many games as he can to finish the season. So just, just uh, take us through the thinking with yeah. his management. Yeah, and that's, that's a reasonable assumption as well. But in the end, there's probably a couple of things to it. Uh, from his point of view, he, he, he really is uh, a great leader, as I said before. So he wants to get back and help this group for a start. So with, with four games to go, he feels he can really help that. And I think for his own peace of mind and going forward into next year, he wants just to get some games under his belt for his own confidence in his body and to get those those away for him um, personally. So I think that's that's well and reasonable as well. And on the back end of that, as I said before, he, he's been ready to go for three weeks now, like he would say. Uh, you know, he's, been, he's been banging the door down pretty much for the last couple to try and get in. 
So uh, he, he's ready and ready to go. And in the end, I think it's just good. It'll be good peace of mind for him going into next year. A guy that's played very little footy over the last two years, and you know, in, previous to that, hardly missed any. So I think that'd be good for his um, for his uh, his you know next year and in his preparation for for next year. Hans, your, your job's very much, or your brief's very much to play the kids and get development, and, and that's brilliant. You're pretty keen not to win the, the wooden spoon. Well, obviously, you haven't got your first pick. It, you know, it wouldn't be great to basically hand the first pick to, to GWS. Is that any of your thinking at all? Oh, I mean, we're, we're trying to win games. There, there's no doubt about that. And, and I'm, as much as, uh, we, you know, we, we, it's great to... We've been playing a lot of young guys, which is fantastic for, for those guys. Um, we, we, we've had we've had some injuries in the last four weeks. Uh, clearly, we, we're going to win some games coming in, definitely. And, and um, I think we're playing some footy to be able to do that. Uh, we, we need to tighten up in a few areas. I, I think that's that's definitely on the agenda. Uh, we we want to we want to win some games coming in and um, play some really good footy, and that's um, that hasn't changed. So uh, yeah, of course of course we want to we don't want to finish um, down there, and that's that's uh, that's obvious. And we want we want to get those uh, those wins if we can. And I suppose, you know, the pick itself, the fact that you've moved on is pretty immaterial, but it's, a, it's, it's almost quirky, I suppose, isn't it? Sorry, say again? Oh, the fact that, that, you know, the fact that that pick is not yours as well. I mean, that, I think the Pies fans would be thinking, God, the last thing we want to do is hand over another one pick. You know, that, that's not, that's we've already thrown it away. Yeah, no, nah, well, in the end, like, we're, we're just doing our, we're doing our best to win games. That's what we're, we're here to do. Um, you know, that stuff um, is, is not even in, enter, entering into our heads. Rob, you've already blooded a lot of debutants this year. Is Reef McInnes the chance to come in in the next couple of weeks? Well, he's um, he's definitely well. He's played two games, I think, back from injury. Uh, so we still feel like we'd love to get him in if we can. Uh, and again, he's still got to earn that that right to get into the team. But in the end, he's showing really good signs. It, we just feel like fitness-wise, he's maybe still a little bit a little bit to go. But uh, he's yeah, if, if there's an opportunity to get him in, that would be super again. Uh, again, you know, as I said, we're, we've got a really good group of young guys coming through um, that's going to be really exciting for the club. And uh, he, he's another one, and, and he's got a great attitude uh, to footy, to, 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 the, to his teammates and to the club. So uh, if, he, if, he, if we can get him a chance um, and he earns that chance, um, that, would be, that would be a win for us. Just, just on the kids' halves, like you can debut kids and, you know, that's all great, but you must feel like of the nine you've debuted, God, there's some real, real talent and some massive upside there. Yeah, and this is, a, as I said, this is a good group, uh, but I, I, I would stress as well, each one of those boys has earned their, earned their opportunities um, through, through the work they've, they've put together in the VFL and the way they've gone about it here on the training track and around the place. So there's been no games gifted to anyone and they, they've really earned those opportunities as McGuinness will if he gets his, his opportunity. So um, that's, been, that's been really uh, forthright to those guys when they've come in. There's been no games gifted here. And, um, but having said that, they will, they will make um, the place better for a long time and that's a good thing. And um, we're you know, lucky enough to have some talented boys come in um, and, and we want to make the most of that with uh, the opportunities they get and um, on the back of really good solid work rate and, and good uh, standards and principles. Robert, can you take us inside the plan for Mason Cox this week? Is he uh, a chance to come into the, to the 22? Um, and um, off the back of that, what does he need to do in the last month to, to make sure he's got a contract next year? No, well, in the end, he's, he's, he's obviously played last week. He's in the squad. So, um, yeah, we, we're still going to settle. Obviously, we've got some boys coming back in and we've got to settle the team down. So, um, in the end... Uh, those decisions will be made this afternoon. Um, in the end, for Mason, it's, his his feedback's always been really clear, and um, his his, ob his obviously his uh, contest and aerial stuff is really um, what, what we're after for him, and he, he's continued to work on that. And when, when he does bring that, we makes us better. We've I've said that a few times. So, and that's that's always a challenge for every tall player in the competition. And um, yeah, it's not getting any easier. It's 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 a tough caper, and um, that's 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 his challenge, and and, and all, all forwards' challenge really at the AFL level. Is the writing on the wall for Mason in the next few weeks? Do you think? I mean, you've got so many tall guys there, and, and they're coming in and showing what they can do. Um, is, is he is he potentially you know is is he going to get squeezed out? Do you think? 
No, it's no, there's no writing on the wall. It, it's just uh, what will be will be. If, I think in the end, um, you, you you just earn your right or you don't, and that's that's the way it, the way it is. And um, no, it's absolutely not. He, he's as I said, he, he makes us when he when he when he d plays at his best, he makes us better, and that's that's we've always said that. So no, not not at all. Um, in the end, go whatever whatever happens, um, do just uh, put your hand up, play your role, and, and you get a chance.